Hey everybody, it's Dave Juno, the Benia's Disease Warrior. How y'all doing? I'm actually doing really good. I want to talk about the day today because I had a really good day. And I'm going to explain it because I think some people can learn from this. Okay? Because I had made a video a while ago that said you have to do the work. Okay? And and that's like with everything. You can you can go to counseling all you want, but if you're not going to put the work in to change the way you're thinking, counseling's not going to work. You can have gentamicin shot and vestibular therapy, I mean, in, um, or a labradectomy or infralactic pole, infralactic surgery or the VNS surgery. If you don't do the vestibular rehab, it's not going to work. Okay? You're going to have all kinds of balance problems. Okay? Sure, the vertigo will be gone, but you're going to have all kinds of balance problems that you're going to end up being relied on using a cane or a walker because you didn't put the work in. And it's the same thing, let's say you have a knee replacement done. Okay? If you don't go to rehab for, after you do knee replacement, it's never, going to, it's never going to be right. And you're going to be using a cane or a walker. So why would you have the knee replacement? So, this is what I'm talking about, where you get to have, do the work. And today was one of those days where it paid off. And I'm going to tell you why. So normally, everybody knows, it's not a secret, I like to go fishing. Okay? And usually my normal fishing is, i got to run an errand, I'm driving by the, where I normally fish, um, I'll stop for a little bit and fish, I'll leave enough time where I can fish, and then go do the errand, and then go home. You know, it's not a, you know, I don't go out for an excursion. It's usually, you know, a half hour, 20 minutes. And it's a spot I know that has fish, so I, I can catch a lot of fish. So today, I decided, okay, i got to run an errand, but I'm, i I got to pick up a prescription. But I want to do something besides stop it here for a half hour, blah, 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 blah. So I talked to my wife, and she's like, yeah, if you feel good enough to go do that, go do it. And I know you've been watching videos and been talking to people on um, the fishing fishing groups. So, yeah, go do it. Go try. See how you do. So I'm like, okay. And I said, I'm going to go do it. And I didn't think or worry or anything. I just, I went. Okay. I could have sat there. I did. I won't. You know what? That, that's a little. I did worry a little bit this morning about it. But I talked myself out of it. I said, listen, you got to go do something. You can't sit here or go five minutes down the road and think everything's going to be hunky-dory. Right? You feel good, go. Go. Go until you don't feel good anymore. So that's what I did. Okay? So, yeah, I went to another reservoir. Not far away, but I went to another reservoir. And I've been on this, that reservoir's group page. Um, and I'm kind enough for these people, to, you know, I asked them, is there any place I, I have that I can go fishing that's not a long walk? Because a lot of places when I was younger, I used to walk miles in that place. Um, that I can catch fish and, and, and be safe. I can't hear things behind me. I have bounce problem. I have Meniere's disease. And, it, you know, it causes tinnitus, vertigo, dizziness, uh, deafness, whatever. And a lot of people were nice enough to say, oh, try this gate, try that gate. And I would look it up on Google and actually see how far it was. Now, to them, it's it's not far, but to me, it is. So a lot of those places I didn't go. But there was a couple I went to that I was kind of curious about. So I went to these places. And one of them, uh, two of them were paths. Now, the first one I went to was a wide path. It was almost like it was, they really call it a fire road. But it was a path. It was a wide path. So I went, okay, I'm going to walk it. All right, let's see what's over there. Cause, so when I first walked, it was a little spot that I saw. And I went, oh, I'll try this. Well, now I had an incline with rocks, big boulders, flat boulders. So I took my time and I get down there. I fished for a little bit. I didn't get, didn't, didn't catch anything. So I took my time coming back up, walked down, probably about, I'm going to say about a half a mile to three quarters of a mile, found another spot, fished there for a little bit, and that was a big incline. No rocks or anything, but a big incline. And I just took my time going down, and I took my time coming back up when I was done, and I did it. I haven't done that in years. Years. 
especially in this place because every spot when you go walking is it's an incline it's a, it's an incline of about 10 to 20 feet i did it i was shocked i didn't fall i didn't get dizzy i didn't get vertigo i did it i was like wow i didn't realize it till like till i was done and got home that i did all these things so then i went back to the car and i drove to another spot where they said yeah it's it's good to fish and this and that and the other thing so i went down here and it's actually a river that flows into this reservoir and the path is smaller now it's like a deer path and I did a little bit go, I really don't know how long this is. Let me look at the Google map. Well, I don't know. It's not that bad. You know what? I'm doing it. I don't care. If I get too nervous, I'll just turn around and come back. So I did it. I went to that, the spot that people were telling me about. And they did say there was built-in stairs. Somebody man-made built stairs. And I did it. It was kind of like, you know, staircase. It's only like four steps. So I did it. I walked that path, went down those steps, fished a little bit, didn't catch anything. But that's not the point. Okay? Then I walked back up the stairs, and I went down to another point where people were telling me about, which actually, where the river is, it's not an incline, so I didn't catch anything. But that's not the point. I did it. I was walking down these deer paths without getting dizzy or getting vertigo. So then I didn't catch anything. Okay. I never really have luck at this place anyways. So then I went to another point where they told me about, and this was the last one I went to. And they were like, oh yeah, right off the road, you park your car, you, you can cast from the street, no problem. Nah. It's granite slabs. <laughs> and they were all like this. And I went, see what happens. I literally did. I didn't say, I don't want to do that. He said, let me see what happens. So I went and did it. And it's not deep incline, it's just the rocks are running even. So I went and did it. I got to the spot. I'm like, hey, I did it. Look over. There's a guy fly fishing. I'm like, ugh. He's about 10, 10 yards, 20 yards away. But fly fishermen, because I've done it before, you can get that line going. So you don't want to, I don't want to be in this guy's way. Okay. But he was like, oh, you can fish. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm just, I'm not doing that thing. I'm just, I said, no, 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 no. I'm, I'll go find that spot or whatever. So then he was watching me climb up the rocks. And he noticed something. He noticed I had a balance problem, even though I did it without a problem. But he noticed. So he yelled up, hey, are you okay? I could hear him because he yelled so loud. Are you okay? And I walked over and I said, yeah, I'm fine. I have Meniere's disease. I haven't really been able to do this stuff in like five or six years. So I really just take my time. Why? He goes, oh, my sister has Meniere's disease. I understand. He goes, you got a balance problem, right? Do you have surgery? Do you have this? I said, oh, yeah, I told him. We would talk for a few minutes. And he goes, hey, man, keep up the fishing. I said, he goes, where do you normally fish? Because you look like you know what you're doing anyways. I said, well, I go to, I told him, Sudbury Reservoir. He goes, oh, I've been here. It's a great place. I said, yeah, I do great there. I can't catch crap here. And I said, I got to go. So I went back to the car, and I came home. And on the way home, I, I said to myself again, I did something I haven't done in such a long time. And then I remembered the video I made. Then I started thinking all those times at the Sudbury Reservoir we went to that safe spot, but I had to walk down a little bit. That was literally preparing me for what I did today. And there's another spot where I had to do that Sudbury Reservoir, but it's a small path, but it's very short. I mean, I don't even think it's a, <laughs> I don't even think it's like a hundred foot walk. Um, but all those things that I was doing just by going, running an errand and, 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 and doing that for half hour every other day or so, prepared me for what I did today. And that's what I tell you about, where well, you got to work at it, okay? I had to work doing that. And not only did I have to work on the, the physical, I had to work on the mental part too. Because sometimes it's your mental part that can cause the problem for you not to do things. So to wrap everything up, it was a very successful day for me, vestibular-wise and mental-wise. Now, am I going to be able to do it tomorrow? I can tell you right now, I'm not doing it tomorrow. Am I going to be able to do it next week? 
I don't know, maybe. If I get to be able to do it the week after, maybe. Everything's going to be a maybe. Because depending upon how I feel, right? And that's the key. Now, if I felt awful this morning, I wouldn't have gone and done that. I wouldn't even have left. I probably would have went down, picked up a prescription, and came back home. Okay? So if I don't feel good, you know, if I'm dizzy or I'm off balance or something just isn't right, I'm not going to go try to even ex just do what I was going to do, what I did. But if I felt good like I did today, I might try it. But I won't be trying it for a while. <laughs> just because my time constraint. You know, I have to help my wife with the kid, grandkids. But I am going to do something once a week for myself. For a couple of hours. If I feel good. And, and that's one of them. And probably every Wednesday I'm going to do something good. You know, whether it's fishing, whether it's just going to visit a friend or visit somebody or, or just do something. Because you know what? We all need to do something. Sitting staring at a wall, being petrified. Not, not good. It's not good. It's not good for your vestibular system. It's not good for you mentally. So do yourselves a favor. Try something. Work towards it. Okay? If you're going to do vestibular rehab, do it. Do it. You know? I, I've done it, and, and look at how far I've come. You know? Yeah. Maybe it's been five years since I've done what I did today, or six years since I've done what I did today. But I did it. It doesn't matter how long it takes. What matters is, is that you actually did it. And on that note, I'm going to talk to you all later. Have a great day. Or a great night, I should say. <laughs> Have a great night. I'll talk to you all soon. And uh, hang in there and keep working. I'm telling you, hard work pays off. And that's going to be the title of this video. Take care.